7-0 win in uh, an FA Vars match to take us to the next round. How are you feeling with the team's performance? Oh, brilliant. Like you say, 7-0 is always a, you know, well, it's a great win anyway, but 7-0, you know, it's pleasing. We're getting score, names on the score sheets week in, week out. You know, so it is pleasing. Get into the next round. You know, the first 10, 15 minutes, we started a bit sluggish you know, throughout the first half, but you know, like you said, the lads are set levels now in the, in the games that we've already played, so they've got to keep that high standard playing. And what's they have today, like you said, come off 7 0 winners. Are you pleased with the chance creation today? We could have had, we could have had seven or eight more. Oh, definitely. If, like you say, if, like you say, you'd have, to, you'd have to be a problem if you weren't creating chances, but we are creating that many chances. You know, you can't knock that for missing. You know, they're getting there, you know, they're getting the opportunity to make the keeper make a save, you know. If it, fortunate for their keeper, if it wasn't for their keeper, it could have been, like you say, it could have been double figures. But nearly, like I say, the keeper has, he's had a blinder for them today. But, you know, 7-0, I don't think we've won by 7 for a long while, so it is pleasing. That's a uh, key Brown's third hat-trick in the Hanley shirt. Is he thriving off the competition with Ricardo Filler? Well, yeah, you know, he's, he's a great lad, he is, he, he works, works so hard off the ball. And like you say, he's just rewarded for scoring hat tricks. Like you say, he's, he scored, cut like I say, he scored one pre season, scored one in the FA Cup, he scored one today. You can't fuck the lads, you know, you know, he's played a bit high, like with Chase Towns and the likes of Castle Town. You know, he hasn't had to rub the green, but you know, he's come here, he's, you know, he's settled into the team, he's scoring goals, and obviously that's what we brought him in for. So it's something that we haven't had at the club for a long time as a natural goal scorer, and he obviously brought that into the, you know, the team this year. And just finally, um, we we missed a, um, Adam Lawrence has filled in uh, for Ben Chapman. Any news on when he'll be back? Oh or? no, like you say, uh, Chappers. You know, I spoke to Chappers in pre-season yeah, about coming to Andy, and he says yeah. Then a month later, Adam contacted the club, and he says, you know, he's moved up from Bedfordshire up to Stoke. He's just looking for a team, you know, we come to come to pre-season training, he's been there week in, week out. You know, he's been at every game, he's worked hard, you know, he's been a, his attitude's been brilliant and you know, he's just a bit gutted. He wants wants he play, you know, wants he play, wants he play, like and obviously with Chappers in goal, we've been winning, so he's hard changing, you know, a winning team. You know, but you know, last game against the North which Vector come in and he's kept his place in at the moment of time, you know, it's tough competition for Chappers. You know, we're you know, clean sheet again today and we you know he takes us into Congo At the end of the day it's a lot of headaches for myself, you know, and Eddie and the team, you know, where who can play and you know, who on the bench. It's you know, lads have come off the bench today and everybody's just performing, which is pleasing, you know, to, we've got a big good squad, a very good set of lads. So yeah, it's you know, like I say, with Chappers, his hamstring, you don't know how long it could be, so hopefully we'll be back in the squad, you know, in the next couple of weeks. Brilliant, thank you. Cheers.